In this very quick coaching video, I'm going to share the 15 things that the uh, third officer should maintain regarding fire fighting equipment or fire protection system okay so stick to the end okay stick to the end for a giveaway okay so the first thing that you should maintain is number one fire mains fire pumps and hydrants including hoses nozzles and international shore connections okay those are the number one things you need to maintain your linyada or your fire mains make sure that they are not damaged okay the pipeline systems are not damaged by any corrosion or any dents or uh, let's just say uh, unnecessary scratches okay from you know from uh, cargo operations sometimes it happens okay uh, fire pumps they should be uh, maintained and hydrants as well okay you have to lubricate the fire hydrants okay i have coaching videos regarding that one including also the hoses okay make sure that they're clean make sure that they're properly uh, lubricated on in the uh, uh, rubber seals okay and international shore uh, connections okay they are properly numbered they're not missing they're not lost okay number two is you need to also look out for your fixed fire detection and fire alarm systems okay make sure that your uh, fire detection systems is not blocked by any kind of uh, boxes or maybe some kind of equipment or maybe some kind of appliance another appliance okay they're not blocked uh, fire alarm systems as well okay they're not blocked by any objects on board next up is fixed fire extinguishing systems and other fire extinguishing appliances that includes our fixed co2 for some ships okay you have to uh, maintain them the lines are not you know bent the mains are not bent there are no unnecessary scratches in the uh uh, uh mains make sure that the uh, fire extinguishing systems are not blocked okay no obstruction okay on the main itself within okay and other fire extinguishing appliances make sure that uh, they're properly numbered okay next up automatic sprinkler fire detection and fire alarm systems okay make sure your sprinklers are in good working order they're not again they're not blocked or clogged by uh, dust or any kind of debris okay next up ventilation systems including fire and smoke dampers fans and their controls okay ventilation systems okay make sure that your ventilate ventilate make sure that your ventilation systems are again not obstructed by any debris okay including fire and smoke dampers the uh, hinges are working very well there are no rust there are no corrosion there are no you know bent metal at the hinges okay make sure they're all in proper working order you can test them you could you know uh move them from time to time okay just you know practice the legs practice the hinges okay uh, next up is emergency shutdown of fuel supply okay now this is within the engine room and fire uh, control room okay uh, we have this emergency shutdown for fuel supply on our engine department okay and uh, make sure i mean they're usually in good condition okay they're usually in good condition as long as you, you know you don't play them around okay but again from time to time you have to check them maybe you know the wires are bent maybe the wires are no you know uh, something has you know destroyed the uh, mains of the wires okay it might happen but then again check it from time to time next up fire doors including their controls okay we have this uh fire alarm or fire control panel at the bridge and also at the fire control room and also at the engine room okay we have this uh control for the fire doors within the accommodation space okay and uh make sure that they're, you know weekly you test them okay that all fire doors are working secure their sensors are not failing okay next up number eight general emergency alarm way back when i was you know on board you know we are testing this uh, general emergency alarm uh every noon Okay, our fire alarm, general emergency alarm, we also test them, you know, every, you know, uh, weekly, on a weekly basis, we test them, you know, every noon, okay, to make sure that they are in proper working order. Next up is your EEBD or emergency escape breathing device. Now, you've got two models, CF-10 and CF-15. Uh, CF-10 only lasts for, from the name itself, 10 minutes. CF-15, it only lasts 15 minutes, okay? Now, uh, some of you may uh, may may be asked by the uh, port state control is the emergency escape breathing device can be used for firefighting your answer is no from the name itself emergency escape it can never be used for firefighting it's only for emergency escape from the accommodation space okay next up 
portable fire extinguisher including spare charges make sure your portable fire extinguishers are not rusted make sure that they are not damaged no leaking okay you have to you know uh let's just say this is your fire extinguisher you have to you know put it upside down if you will have leakage sometimes it does happen the faulty you know there was one time one of our uh, portable fire extinguishers were faulty and uh when we turned it upside down when we turned it upside down leak okay it leaked dry powder six kilogram dry powder fire extinguisher okay so it's a deficiency on board the ship and also it should not be rusted okay it should not be rusted because there are port state controls especially in the u.s okay uh if they see or they notice any rust within the lineage of the of, of your fire extinguisher well they're going to put a remark on you and they would detain you just because of a fire extinguisher it might happen okay so maintain it okay and if you know uh, you you see a deficiency on board the ship immediately call impa call your company call your charter call your uh, ship chandler okay email them okay next up is firefighters outfit make sure that they're not ripped make sure that they're clean as well make sure that there are no debris uh make sure that there are no you know unnecessary leftovers from the last fire drill make sure that they're all uh make sure that they are all uh, counted or uh, they are all complete okay firefighters outfit next up inert gas systems for some ships they have inert gas systems you know to you know uh, uh shut down the oxygen supply within the fire okay in case it happens uh next up is deck foam system some ships uh some ships have this okay uh, next up fire safety arrangements in cargo or pump room okay you have this you know again lineage and main pumps and systems on board the ship okay you can also access it from your cargo or pump room okay make sure that they are all in working order the pumps are working properly okay if the pumps are not working properly you have to check your valves your mains your pumps everything within the engine room okay and last but not the least is uh flammable gas detectors okay now your flammable gas detectors again okay make sure that they are you know uh in working order as well okay you could test them your flammable gas detector you could test them on a weekly basis all ships all companies have this weekly plan which also i have discussed here on this channel that you know we, all companies have a weekly monthly quarterly and annual maintenance plan i have discussed it here on my channel okay so again if you stick to the end of the video then again i want to give you this free maintenance plan now this free maintenance plan is very handy for you if you will become the third officer of the ship it contains all of the uh, uh, things that you have to maintain on board the ship including and reference the solace convention and the uh, fss code okay it contains also a table as a guide when do you maintain your firefighting equipment and all of the appliances regarding firefighting on board the ship so then again hope you've learned something new be happy be happy guys and most importantly to god be on the glory keep safe take good care